Hey guys, welcome back to All in Law. In this video, I'm going to talk about BPP. That's a biophysical profile scoring. So as you know, this is a really very important one of the non-invasive tests to prevent the hypoxic brain injuries and to prevent intrauterine death. So this is a biophysical profile scoring BPP okay let's talk about this as we know that uh, NST that's a non-stress test and uh, another one is a contractions stress test NST is a non-invasive and I will be talking in another video about that and in this video I'm going to talk about this so let's talk about this as a NST sorry BPP it has a five components the five components are one is the fetal breathing movements I would like to write as a BM fetal breathing movements then it has a gross body movements and fetal tone fetal tone and another one another two are FHR that is a fetal heart rate reactive fetal heart rate and AF that is amniotic fluid volume it's a qualitative amniotic fluid volume so the scoring is done on based on this there's another one that is known as a modification of this biophysical profile scoring okay so that is uh, not much used this one you can uh, in what you call in a modification of uh, biophysical profile uh, they use uh, amniotic fluid uh, volume less than one centimeter to less than two centimeter so that's a different I would like to concentrate on this let's take a, the scoring is done as a two normal scoring this is a normal scoring as a two for each component and abnormal scoring will be zero the fetal body movements the fetal sorry fetal breathing movements is at least one episode of fetal breathing movements of at least 30 seconds so you can make it as a 1 by 30 seconds for a duration of 30 minutes at least one episode of fetal breathing movements okay for of at least 30 seconds and duration should be 30 minutes so remember this 1 30 30 at least one episode of fetal breathing movements of at least 30 seconds duration in 30 minutes of observation if that is not observed then you can give a score of zero or absence of any fetal breathing movements is zero or no episodes for more than 30 seconds or equal to 30 seconds is zero in 30 seconds in 30 minutes okay anything abnormal to this you can take it as a zero remember now let's talk about the gross body movements the gross body movements at least three discrete body movements or any limb movements in 30 minutes you should have three by 30 at least three discrete body or a limb movements in 30 minutes it should be in 30 minutes remember episodes of active continuous movements considered as a single movement that is really very important okay if it's two or less than three of a body or a limb movements in 30 minutes then is the score going to be zero so for fetal breathing movements at least one episode of fetal breathing movements of at least 30 seconds duration in 30 minutes observation whereas a gross body movements at least three discrete body or a limb movements in 30 minutes okay now let's talk about the fetal tone the fetal tone at least one episode of active extension with return to flexion of the fetal limb the, it has to go from flexion to extension really very important of the limb or the trunk whatever doesn't matter at least one and here there is no time limit no time okay there is no specific time in which the child has to do the, the fetus has to do there's no li uh, time limit okay even you can consider sometimes opening and the closing of the hand you can take it as a that that opening of the opening and the closing of the hand considered as a what you call normal tone okay 
Now if you want to give a score of 0 means either the slow extension with return to partial flexion 1 or a movement of the limb in full extension or absence of fetal movements with hand held in a complete or a partial deflection means whatever if it's not up to this what you call normal whatever the normal is at least one episode of active extension with return to flexion of fetal limb or a trunk that is a normal if anything you find abnormal to this can be taken as a zero score now another important is FHR the fetal heart rate at least as you know that in NST we take it as a uh, two episodes of fetal heart rate accelerations more than 15 beats two fetal heart acceleration more than 15 beats and lasting for at least 15 seconds and lasting at least for the 15 seconds and this thing should be observed in 30 minutes of time so anything abnormal to this gonna get zero marks okay Okay, now another one is amniotic, amniotic fluid. There is a qualitative amniotic fluid value. At least one pocket of amniotic fluid that measures at least 2 cm. If you take it the quadrant, they divide into 4 quadrants and they make it the pockets. So at least 2 cm in 2 perpendicular planes. If anything less, either no AF or any pocket less than 2 cm in 2 perpendicular planes is considered to be 0. Okay, so these are really very important to know about the what you call uh, uh, BPP that's a biophysical profile and biophysical profile uh, as we say that it helps in uh, what you call to prevent um, the brain injuries, hypoxic brain injuries and intra and deaths also it can be prevented and one more thing that the indications um, whether to take this for a section or for a normal delivery the BPP helps in that score less than 4 it should be taken for a section 6 you can repeat after 12 hours and see more than 8 is a good score out of 10 right 2 2 2 2 and 2 it's gonna be 10 less than 4 straight away to section or emergency section six you can wait and repeat whereas more than eight or eight is a good score okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video do subscribe take care bye